A collection of minds with experience at Nickelodeon, Sesame Street, MIT, and Word World has come together to create an interactive kids TV experience for the iPad. Its name comes from how kids interact with each episode by literally drawing a square over it and getting right onto the fun. Other kids shows have made episodes before, but this would be a full platform. Multiple programs will eventually be provided to play with and parents will be able to keep up with what their children are learning. The only show currently available on the app is Word World and the content is aimed at children aged three to six. But this is only the first of what's sure to be many and it's easy to see adult channels learning from their success to change what they're offering. TV isn't dead, it's just getting reimagined. Kids nowadays are so connected to technology that it's normal to see toddlers handle iPads better than grown-ups. Case in point, ever heard of the book Goodnight iPad? So how do parents cope with their tech-savvy Todds? Well, Vancouver startup Story Panda and Kabuko have come up with a way of making traditional storytelling and creativity flow with their new line of interactive storybooks for the iPad. Story Panda and Kabuko have given the world of storytelling a new twist by making it interactive. Kids get a chance to actually create and direct their own stories and share them with their friends. Story Panda allows your kids to read stories and modify them later to their own liking. They can even create a story from scratch to hone in on their creative writing skills. For Kabuko, you and your kid can piece together a story on your iPad with your own characters, settings, and outcomes and have it printed afterwards into an actual storybook. The developers of these apps have taken control of the advancement of technology and created a meaningful way to teach the next generation of storytellers. Thank mm -hmm. you.